Hello students, we are continuing with Porifera and we have done the general characteristics and now we are going to do the canal system. So the canal system is very important in Porifera because through canal system, it is reproducing, excreting, circulating, everything is happening through this canal system. So this forms a very important part. This plays a very important role in Porifera. So now let us see what are the exists in porifera so they are ascon type or asconoid type what uh, so these are what these are ascon type or asconoid type then sicon type or psychonoid type, we will do the structures and their characteristics in detail, leucon type or leuconoid type, right? Remember, and they have different kind of shapes and different characteristics. So this is the simplest ascon type and this is the most complex canal system. Right, and let us see what was the need from going to the simplest to the complex canal system. What need arose? So basically these ascon types are generally very small, right? And these leucon types can grow up to one meter, right? They can grow up to one meter. So now let us see what are these ascon type. So ascon type, or asconoid type canal system. Their simplest type of canal system, this one that we can see is the ascon type. So this is a porifera sponge. And this red color thing that we can see is the conocytes. And these are the ostia through which the water is entering, right? This is the spongocene. This portion in between is the spongocene. And this outlet, of the water is known as osculum. So this outlet is known as through which the water is going out is known as osculum. And this is the ascon type. And you can see that generally it is and there is what there is a stalk like sponge seal generally in a ascon type as we can see from the diagram, uh, spongocene, what else can we know in it? They are generally very small. Generally, they are very small and like one millimeter in diameter, right? So they are so small as con type. Now let us see the second type. This one, which we can see, this is what? This is the Sicon type, right? It is written over here. This is what? This is the sicon type. So basically what is happening here in this, what is happening in this, the body play, the body is what? The body is somewhat pleated, right? We can see that is it pleated or we can say it is folded. And why is it folded? When it is folded, we can see that these conocytes have increased right? These conocytes that we see, they have increased. So when they have increased, what is happening? The pumping capacity has increased, right? Because these conocytes have increased. So basically it leads to what? Capacity. So more of food can come, more of nutrients can come, the waste can easily go out. So basically that's why they, this is this adaptation or there is a sicon type also exists. And they, these conocytes are lining the, these conocytes, they are lining the inner lining or inner pockets, right? And, and what else? And there are these pinacocytes. So basically what is happening, if we see in the sicon type, what is the uh, course of action, right? So in the sicon type, if we see what is a course of action. So let us see, sir, let us some read something about sicon type. The examples are Skypha and the spelling is wrong. It's 
grantia it's this is wrong this is grantia and it is folded body wall is folded to form incurrent and radial canals now we come across a new word in current canal in radial canal to isko hame dekhna hai dhyan rakhna body wall is folded to form incurrent and radial canals which open into spongocele by an opening called apophyle another new word which we need to see both type of canals what are these both we are talking incurrent and radial are interconnected by minute pores called prosopyles again a new word in current pores or ostia are found on the outer surface of the body to hum isko kya keh sakte hain dermal ostia keh sakte hain because they are found on the outer surface of the body these lead what is these these ostia lead to the adjacent radial canals through minute openings called prosopyles so let let us see what we are actually talking about so we are talking about this right so this is something skypha the example so we are talking about this so basically this ing ingressing water through dermal ostia and which goes to these incurrent canals to the prosopyles to the radial canals and and all these go into what to the apophyle and through the apophyle into the spongocele and from the spongocele to the outside through the osculum so now we know what are radial canals these are the radial canals now we know what are incurrent canals these are the incurrent canals apophyle is the opening through which it is leading into spongocele and what is prosopyle these openings are known as prosopyles and this is the dermal ostia right so now we all know about this sikon type or uh psychonaut type right now let us see something about this leucon type so this is what is leucon type in this what we are seeing in this we are seeing very interesting thing right so i might have made a page right so this is the advanced type of canal system what leucon type is a very advanced type of canal system and it is found in spongilla one of the example and with the name of spongilla you know what that it is a fresh water what is happening in leuconoid that in this leuconoid the mesohyle is the in the interiors the interior is filled with mesohyle we can see and the spongocele is reduced very much right and this is happening what this is just to increase the pumping capacity because we can see that there are now so many monocytes and they are generally big and they can grow up to 1 meter and they can grow up to 1 meter so this is about the canal systems now let us see about the significance of canal system why is this canal system even existing right so the flagella of the conocytes now we know that there is this whip like flagella in conocytes so they they beat to produce a water current which enters this pongo seal which can through the ostia it carries food particles and oxygen it sweeps away metabolic waste through osculum it carries food particles so pehla basically function kya ho gaya food collection and oxygen dusra function respiration it sweeps away metabolic waste tisra function excretion so what is the significance of canal system basically three significance food collection respiration and excretion chalo this is very easy now let us move forward to digestion now let us see about something about digestion digestion is you have to remember this word that the nutrition is what nutrition is holozoic in sponges you have to remember this line what happens that the 
फ्यू बैक्टीरिया एंड फ्यू जो भी खाने का सामान है उनके वो इट कम्स नियर द कॉलर्स एंड द फूड इज इन गल्फ्ड सो बेसिकली व्हाट इज हैपनिंग द फूड इज इन गल्फ्ड एंड दस द डाइजेशन इज इंट्रा सेलुलर एंड द अमीबोइड टाइप सेल्स जो होती हैं वो कॉलर सेल्स से पिक करती हैं डिस्ट्रीब्यूट थ्रू ऑल द थ्रू आउट द बॉडी ऑफ द स्पॉन्जेस राइट नाउ you have to just remember that the digestion is holozoic you, that, that and what we do we mind, mean by holozoic that the food is engulfed the important point in digestion now let us see something about circulation do you think there is a circulatory system no the circulatory system is absent and through which the transport of food will be carried out by what if i ask you the transport of food is being carried about by archaeocytes remember archaeocytes and one more trophocytes right archaeocytes and trophocytes now let us see something about excretion it is living in water what will be the type of excretion if i ask you the type of excretion will be ammonotelic and what is ammonotelic ammonia excreting right very easy these are all very easy things that's why i am moving fast and it takes place how it takes place through diffusion through body surface you have to remember all these things and this porifera is a very simple topic just sit once and finish it off in an hour or two hours and everything right it is a very easy topic few questions can be asked so excretion ho gaya neural system present or absent absent ma'am neural system is also what absent reproduction reproduction is both asexual and sexual and asexual is how and sexual is how we'll study about this if i have made any special page for it uh no so let so asexual what will be the kind of asexual fragmentation so first type by which asexual is taking fragmentation budding and gemmule formation so we will do each in detail and this sexual we'll also do this sexual reproduction also we will do how it is happening and what is all happening so now let us see something about this so basically jo ye sponge basically jo स्पॉन्ज के फ्रैगमेंट्स होते हैं वेन यू टॉकिंग अबाउट फ्रैगमेंटेशन दे कैन रीजेनरेट इंटरेस्टिंग स्पॉन्ज फ्रैगमेंट्स कैन रीजेनरेट बट देर इज वन कंडीशन ओनली इफ ओनली इफ देर आर वॉट देर आर टू सेल्स देर नीड टू बी प्रेजेंट फॉर रीजेनरेशन one is the archaeocyte what are archaeocytes they are totipotent cells right so they need to be present if the sponges need to regenerate second colloncytes colloncytes kya kar rahe the secreting the mesohyle so if 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 in a fragment archaeocyte and colloncyte both are present then only it will re generate right very important now let us see something about gemmule what are these gemmules right what are these gemmules these gemmules are basically the survival pods why are we saying them survival pods let us understand spongocytes make gemmules who makes gemmules spongocytes make gemmules very important point to remember by how are the these spongocytes are making gemmules then the question arises how how are they doing so by wrapping how are the spongocytes making gemmules by wrapping uh, shells of spongin and archaeocytes so basically they are wrapping what they are then they are wrapping there are archaeocytes and there are spongin with 
spicules. Why with the spicules? As a defense mechanism from predators. Ye wrap ho gaye. Jab ye wrap ho gaye, uske baad they become what? After they get wrapped, they become dormant. They become what? They become dormant and it can survive. It can survive heat, cold, lack of oxygen, variation in salinity, right? The other saline comes saline. So therefore, they are known as what? They are known as survival pods. What are known as survival pods? Gemules, right? And gemules are what? They are one of the ways of asexual reproduction in sponges. Right. Now let us move to the sexual. Yeah, one thing more. When the gemule germinates, dormant when the gemule will germinate, what will happen? These archaeocytes that we are present, remember, in the wrapping sheet, inside the wrapping, there were archaeocytes. They will make pinacocytes. Pehle pinacocytes banayega. Or fir, they will make other cells. Right? So, jab ye gemule germinate hoga, to what will the archaeocyte do? It will first make pinacocytes and then it will make the other cells and then a whole... Uh, sponge will grow or a whole porifera or a whole sponge will grow. Now just let me add a page. Okay. So now we have done asexual. Now we have to do sexual reproduction. Sexual reproduction. So sexual reproduction may hame ye jana zaruri hai that they are generally hermaphrodites. They are generally hermaphrodites. What are hermaphrodites? If anyone can tell me what are hermaphrodites? That they have both male and female sex cells, right? And um, hermaphrodites are what? Most species, you can, you can write if you want. Most, most species of sponges produce both male and female sex cells, right? And such individuals are called hermaphrodites. They have no gonads. They're very simple creatures. They have no gonads. And now what will happen? Let us see something about sperms. Sperms, kaise produce ho rahe hai? Sperms are produced by coonocytes or their special name spermatocytes. Or kya hoga, ek dusra tarika kya ho sakta hai ki jo entire conocyte chamber, jo pura conocyte ka ek chamber hai, it will sink into mesohyle. What is mesohyle? That gelatinous matrix present between the two layers and form spermatic cyst. Thik hai? And it will form spermatic cyst. Or eggs are produced by oocytes. Ab eggs bhi hoge. Ab during spawning mein kya hoga? Spawning ke time kya hoga? Sperm will burst out of the cyst. Sperm will burst out of their cyst. Right? And what will happen? It will be jab burst ho gaya, free ho gaya. It will be expelled out. From where it will be expelled out? It will be expelled out through osculum because that's the port through which the things are going out. And through the water flow, it will reach through the egg. And then what will happen? This is sperm and egg will unite and a larval stage will come. And what will come? A larval stage will come. So... What will happen when the sperm and egg will unite? A larva will be formed. So if there is a larva formed, what we can say that the development of zygote is what? We can write, a question can come, development of zygote in porifera is direct 
or indirect it's indirect because of this larval stage and this larva can be of two types this it can be amphiblastula and it can be parent chimula these are the two names that you need to remember and they are very different from the adult right and they are released from the sponges this larva it is so if this is the larva it is released and generally what happens it settles on rocks or somewhere and then it develops into an adult right so this is the you don't have to go in much detail and it this development of zygote is indirect and it happens through holoblastic cleavage we are not going into much detail about this holoblastic cleavage and you as of now you just learn it as and when the time will come you will know about all in each of the cleavages in detail now let us see the end thing that we want to do is the classification of sponges it is given in your book and that's why we need to know it so basically we are dividing the sponges into calcarea hylospongia and sclerospongia so we will see some features and on the basis of those features we will classify it so let us first feature on the basis of which we are going to divide is the skeleton right so calcarea very easy it is made up of calcium carbonate spicules that's calcarea you can easily see with the name and they can be these spicules can be simple or they can be like you know quadri radiate this hylospongia in this it is made up of siliceous spicules right and these siliceous spicules are six rayed right and in this also it is made up of sclerospongia siliceous spicules you have to remember this kids and uh, siliceous spicules uh, or siliceous plus spongin fibers right siliceous plus spongin fibers you have to remember all these things very easy they are very very easy it's a very easy topic that's why we are going fast so that you can spend time more on difficult topics in here the conocytes are large and in these two yellow sponge and clerospongia the conocytes are small and the canal system let us see something about the canal system if you want to see in calcarea it is generally simple it is ascon or sicon type and here it is leucon type and here also it is leucon type now let us see something about the habitat where they are found habitat is where they are found calcarea they are marine mostly they have every, every porifera is marine and they are found mostly in shallow waters and they are also marine and they are also marine uh, but this halospongia are generally found in deep water and uh, these are marine but some can be fresh water so they are also marine these sclerospongia but some can be fresh water now let us write some examples of calcarea the name which you know need to know sicon leuco solenia and halospongia very easy halonema it is also known known as glass rope sponge and it is also known as glass rope sponge and this halonema is used for decoration one thing you can know about it and 
what else hello neema and one thing more i wanted to tell you yes euplectella and euplectella the common name is what venus flower basket right and venus flower basket it is given as a marriage gift and in this you can write spongula spongula is what a fresh water sponge and u spongia u spongia is used as a bath sponge and right so this is all i want to tell you in porifera this covers each and everything now let us do few questions some 10 questions and just let us see if you remember things or you have forgotten and you no need to go back to the uh, video and see so the first question is the simplest type of canal system in porifera is very easy ascon sicon leucon dragon ascon type sponges are mostly radial biradial asymmetrical or bilateral very easy sponges are asymmetrical those some might superficially exhibit radial symmetry reproductive cells or sponges are formed from pinacocytes conocytes trophocytes no they are formed by archaeocytes because they are totipotent cells these cells store food granules in porifera thesocytes right fresh water sponge is what so many times i told you spongula and spongula is a example of what it is a example of sclerospongia spongula is a example of sclerospongia where the spicules are made up of siliceous spicules or silicia and spongin remember it match the following what is u spongia it is a bath sponge u plectella without seeing only venus flower basket halonema glass rope sponge used for decoration clina boring sponge right so to go a three cardian four ka see so this second option flagellated cells in sponges are collar cells conocytes pinacocytes is not pinacocyte is what this is the all flattened cell that is the epithelial cells so both one and two because collar cell conocytes are one and the same thing what is amphiblastula and parenchymula these are the larval stages remember these are the larval stages because the development of zygote is what it is indirect and takes place by what it takes place by holoblastic cleavage so guys we are done with porifera and have fun and enjoy and study and study hard that's very very important right so guys if you want please like share and subscribe so that your friends can also have these videos that i am making so have fun and study hard bye take care